Hey, Jeff Jantz here at Jantzer Studios, and in this video, I'm going to show you how we operate Trunk L, my giant mammoth puppet. All right, so to operate the trunk, there's a little lever on the inside. You just pull that back and the trunk goes up and it's fairly simple. The trunk can also sway left to right just by simply moving the puppet head back and forth. The mouth has a little lever on the inside, and you just pull that back to close the mouth, push it forward to open the mouth. To move the eyebrows, stick your fingers up on these little levers that are connected with this elastic band. Lift up to make the eyebrows go up and down to make the eyebrows go down. It's a little tricky, but you can also get just one side. And my favorite part is the ears. So there's a little tube at the top. You just swing that around and the ears go up. Forward, backwards, wiggle them. But wait, there's more! Before I show you how the tail works, I just want to take a second to tell you that Trunk Hill is actually part of a rental package for the whole show Firebringer, which includes all the puppets. And I also have another rental package with a bunch of the props, including these light up torches. So these can all be rented. Just get a hold of me. Check out my website, jancerstudios.com. It also includes this little guy. So the tail also moves, and that's operated by the person in the back simply by pulling this trigger. At this point, you've probably realized that you can't see much once you're in here. You can see through the mouth and see the floor a little bit so you know exactly what's right out in front of you. And there's also holes in the eye, and you can see a little bit out through there. And it works best if you tip the head forward a little bit. But we also have this extra option. So what I've done to help you see a little bit better when you're inside of Trunk L is to include this camera with wireless monitor. I've also have this rig here, so it should be pretty easy to set this camera up pretty much anywhere that you can clamp it to. You will need to supply power to the camera, but it does create its own wireless network. I would highly recommend charging the monitor before every show. So there's a little mount up here and that's where the monitor goes in. You just stick it in here, power button is up here, and the really great thing about this is that you can also control the camera from this monitor. So if you're moving around a lot and you can't fit everything in there, you got it covered. I think it's best though to just set the monitor where it can see the full stage. Okay, so now you're probably wondering how we put this thing on. We definitely need some help with this one. So luckily I got my volunteer, Caden, to help model for me today. Okay, so the best way to hold this is there is the bracket for the trunk under here. You can hold that with one hand and then have the other hand firmly on the backpack frame. So we're going to put this thing on the same way you would put on a regular backpack. Okay. Hold it while somebody else puts their arms through. 
Once the shoulders are in, the first thing you want to do is clip the belt. For people with a wider waist, there is a belt extension in the kit. Then you want to pull here just to make sure that the shoulder straps are nice and tight. Do that for both sides. Once the backpack is on securely, you should be able to hold all the weight on the mammoth without even using your hands. So one hand will go up through the bottom and that will operate the levers. Then the other hand is going to go up through this little hole right here on the side. Go ahead. That's going to reach all the way up to the top and operate the eyebrows and the ears and it gives you a little leverage on that handle up there. Before we put the mammoth on Caden's back, we added these little Velcro strips to his shoes. Those Velcro strips will come in handy when we're putting on the feet. First, we're going to clip the waist of the legs to the mammoth and to the backpack. There's one little clip right here that's labeled A. So we're going to clip A to A. Make sure it goes in all the way. Then you have two more clips on the side. There's a B and a C. It doesn't really matter which side you put in first. Now you may need to adjust the length of the straps so that you can make sure that the bottom of the feet rests firmly on the floor. So you'll notice there's also a Velcro strap inside the front of the foot. That's gonna attach to the Velcro that we put on the shoelaces, but you also have to make sure that the person steps through this elastic loop here. Okay, so the last part is just simply connecting back to the front and you can see there's a little hook right there and you just got to drop it in it's a little bit tight so sometimes you may have to reach up and clip it in if you feel like it's going to bounce out there's these velcro straps that you can loop around but it's probably not necessary okay and now we can move go ahead and take a couple steps Okay, so when you disconnect, basically just the opposite, pull this off. You can set the front of the mammoth flat on the floor, lean it up against the wall. And to take the rest off, we're basically just going to do all the things we did before, but in reverse. So we'll take off the straps for the legs, take off the feet, undo the Velcro, Set that aside, then we're going to undo the belt. When you undo the belt, the weight is going to jerk forward, so you need to be ready to grab it. Then you're going to lift it off, let the person come out just like a regular backpack, and that's it. Hey, thanks for watching all the way to the end. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing and all that stuff that they always say at the end of these YouTube videos. But if you also would like to get a hold of me, if you have questions about renting, or if you're interested in building a puppet like this and you have questions, feel free to get a hold of me. The best way to reach out is probably through Facebook or Instagram at Janser Studios. And um, you can also check out my website. It needs to be updated a little bit, but you can also use that to get a hold of me if email is a little bit better for you. So, uh, hope to see you in the next video.